On this part two from Naples, Florida, we are playing Tiburon Golf Club's Black Course. We're gonna be kayaking with dolphins and we are gonna try some of the best seafood on the Gulf of Mexico. Welcome to Let's Play Through. On this show, we've stayed at some beautiful properties, but the accommodations at Tiburon might just take the cake. Sharing the same property as the golf course is the Ritz-Carlton Naples, with beautifully appointed rooms, sweeping views of the golf course and resort pool, and service that's second to none. It's a perfect place to relax and unwind after a day on the course. So I was lucky and they upgraded me to a suite. Oh man, you gotta see this place. This is the Ritz-Carlton in Naples. It's attached to the Tiburon Golf Club. And look at this place. All kinds of room, beautiful. Wow, look at the bedroom. Oh my goodness. This has everything that you would want and more. What a place to come and play. What a place to come and stay. The Ritz-Carlton Naples together with Tiburon Golf Club in Naples. It's a one-of-a-kind golf destination that you've got to check out. The next stop on our Naples adventure was to hit the water. This is the west coast of Florida, and this is what it's all about. We met up with Tom Long of the Naples Kayak Company for a tour of the mangroves. So you're going to give us a little uh, yeah. history of, of not only kayaking, but the marine biology aspect of this part of the world, that's, right? That's what we do on our tours. It's an yeah. eco-tour. Yeah. We, uh, we explain the relationship of the mangroves to everything else out here in the ecosystem. Most people have no idea what, what they just think the mangroves are these funny looking trees that right. grow out of salt water. Cool. But uh, really, they're the key to the entire ecosystem. Wow, can't wait to see them. Sure. Thank you. <laughs> so actually, for you, they actually took two kayaks and soldered Sweet. them together. So that... <laughs> I'm excited, though. Have you kayaked with Never, me? Never, man. No? This is all first with you guys. Good. I'm excited you're getting to do this stuff, man. Yeah. And it's all about new experiences. Yeah, man. You ready to go in? I heard yours is nicknamed the Titanic. Oh! oh. <laughs> Everyone's a comedian on this show. Oh. <laughs> uh huh. But when I'm the only one that didn't tip over, then they're going to ask me for help. But right. I'm gonna just go right on by. Oh my god! Oh, holy shiitake! Yeah, you see that? Tons of fish out here they're going after. They're right under me. There we go. Guys, they're coming right behind you. So we are paddling out here in the mangroves. Just saw the dolphins that came right up to us. Almost hit Wade in the face and that dolphin tried to take me out. Okay guys, we're heading to the double secret tunnel this way. Mangrove tree crab. Oh, wow. Beautiful. Isn't it? They are beautiful. Yeah. So here, I'll show you up close. See, it's pinching me and I can't even feel it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You can actually see it's pinching me. Yeah. Birds eat them all the time. Snakes, raccoons eat them. Um, if they go in the water, fish will eat them. I even once found a big jellyfish had one in its tentacles. So. It's not easy being a mangrove tree crab here. It's beautiful back here. It's very serene and um, yeah, this is a pretty cool experience. As we all know, I almost got murdered by a dolphin and I survived, thankfully, barely. But uh, yeah, this is making for quite the adventure and it's, it's great. You guys ready to take a swim? Yeah, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> an incredible trip. I wasn't expecting the kayak adventure to be so adventurous. Honestly, I thought it'd be kind of just, you know, paddling. I've done kayaking before, but to go through the trails, to see the dolphins, to see all the wildlife, the blue herons, the pelicans snatching fish right out of the bay, it was incredible. Now we're on our way to the Snook Inn. This is a um, Naples and Marco Island area tradition, the Snook Inn. They, from what I hear, have some of the best grouper 
on the planet. So I'm ready to go have myself a little grouper sandwich or some grouper nuggets or anything with grouper in it. We just made it here to the Snook Inn, which is a Marco Island, Naples region, establishment that's been here for 30 years. It's wonderful, you can come here by boat, you can come here by land. Great place to come, five o'clock, when you're done with work and have a cocktail and just relax. When you got good friends, that's all you need. Tuna pokey. Nice. We got a fish spread here. Good right, grief. Cool. And we've got some, um, Peel and eat shrimp for you guys. Wow. Oh, wow. Ones. So I don't know which to start with, but I think I'm going to try the tuna poke because it oh, looks like the easiest. Man. It's got big chunks of avocado on there and uh, it looks like fresh tuna and some scallion. Can't wait to give it a shot. Mmm. Like melt in your mouth. We got two types of grouper sandwich. You've got the fried version, you've got the blackened version. Mm -hmm. That looks incredible. Those tacos have my mouth watering. They're overstuffed. I was gonna say, I don't think I've ever seen tacos that big. Look at this thing. Do you think this will rival the tacos at Stream Song? Oh, dear God. I Let's think this will rival shot. the tacos anywhere. Mmm. <laughs> oh, man. It's cheesy and delicious. Mm. I love it. It's so good. This isn't the proper way to eat a sandwich, but I just want to try the grouper itself. That is the epitome of West Coast Florida right there, man. That speaks to my heart. It's really good. <laughs> it's tugging at the heartstrings. It's tugging at the heartstrings really hard. If you're in Marco Island, you got to come out here and try the Snook Inn. It's a must. It's a must. Here we are on the gorgeous Tiburon Black for part two from Tiburon. This course is a little bit tighter. All right, first shot, playing a little team scramble, me and Jim versus Wade and Pat. Here we go. Deep, but well, it's turning. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. I think that's pretty nice. How you feeling, partner? Tight. <laughs> that was tight. <laughs> oh, he swings it out there. Crunched. Oh, crunch. Straight every time. Every time. Give us a break. Hit a bad shot for once in your life, Pat. Seriously, this guy. All right, so we're playing a scramble today, and for all of you non-golfers, what a scramble is, both people hit a shot, because we're playing a two-person scramble, both guys hit a shot, and then you look for the best ball. Then you play from that shot. Each guy hits his shot again, and then you'll play from the better of those two balls. Again, you get to choose, which is nice. Now, unfortunately, Jim didn't hit a good shot, and I didn't hit a great shot, so we gotta choose the less of two evils. Yeah, 133. 133, shot two. Solid. Oh, that looks right good. Down. That looks really good. Shot. Sit. Just over the back. A little long. That was a good shot, though. The pressure's on. A little left. Pretty lovely. You'll see. Buddy, I don't know about you, but I'm, I'm pretty excited. We both just threw a ball up there on the green. Yeah, I mean, on this I, hole here, and uh, we're, we're putting. We got two choices to putt, and they don't have any. I, I heard a rumor that we could get a sponsor's invite for the tournament <laughs> in a few weeks. <laughs> They're on the green. We're just off the green, so we're going to have to chip this one tight. Yes. I'm going to let you play uh, lead off, and I'll, I'll pack cleanup on our team here today. Here we go. It's important the lead off batter 
on a scramble is important just to get it a decent shot. That way the next guy can get a little bit more aggressive. Oh my God. All right, teammate. That's a great putt. <laughs> Fight. Ben, great shot. Very nice shot. Oh, I didn't hit it. I forgot we're uh that's terrible. <laughs> that's got some room. I'm okay with good good though boys. Good good move on. Play. Come on, be a yeah, gentleman. Uh, yeah. Be be gentlemen. <laughs> Come on. The, the strategy normally in a match play situation like this, you want to concede the first putts early in the round, and later in the round, that's when you want to put the pressure on them. So you want to seem like the good guy, and then you stick it to them. All right, Jim. The pressure's on because Patrick is not letting up on us. Patrick has got a lot of game, I'm not going to deny that. <laughs> he plays obviously a lot, works a little with you. Yeah, right. And I think you need to give him a few more hours. And Seriously, we're going to have to raise his hours up to like 60. He is very uh, methodical and uh, he actually is a very good player. He's got that nice pre-shot routine. Yes. He's the only one of us that has that perfect routine every time. Yeah, we're, we're, the rest of us just kind of wing it. The other three, are, we're just playing hit and giggle and uh, Patrick is playing <laughs> For the globe. All right, we're moving on to number two, which has been dubbed the tightest hole in the world. This is the number two Tiburon Black. We're all square in the match. This is our 11th hole, and we still lead off. Turn, 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 turn. Turning a bit. Does it open up there? Doubt it. If it's the tightest hole in the world, I don't feel confident about that. How, how do you feel about that? Okay. Uh, I feel like that's in trouble. Oh, there you go. Uh, sit. Tightest hole in the world. No problem. Nice. Perfect. Weight is on fire. Pipe dream. Low runner. Pipe dream. I'll take it. Good thing Wade came through for you because that was his, probably his worst one of the day. Carry. Run up there. Ooh, get up there. Oh, I yoinked it. Oh, God. That didn't help you, Jim. Oh, yes. Strike. Get up there. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes, nice drawn right at the hole. This is good. Oh. Good, good, good. Good, good. Oh, that's great. That's pin high. Just, uh, Go. Pretty good. Go, 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 go. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's what you want the teammate to do to start off. Oh, check. Oh, check. Oh. Sorry. That's the tight lies for you. Okay. You're putting for birdie here. Oh, it breaks to the right at the end. Oh, pretty good. Good pass. Man, no mercy. Show some mercy for God's sakes. Yeah, definitely. You can see it from here. Oh, from here you can. That didn't break at all, did it? Too hard. I didn't hit it. Yeah, you did. Oh, That's good enough. Prep. That's all that matters. Oh. That's oh. all that matters. Oh. We'll take Gabriel it. <laughs> we'll take it. I have saddle marks and they're not mine. <laughs> 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 
All right, we are on hole number three. The tension is still building. We've gotten up and down to keep this match all square, but I need Patrick to make some kind of mistake. Did you say it's either money or duck hooking? How dare you? Oh, pipe dream. Pat, you don't even have to hit it. Let's just go. Oh. Woo! Time. It gets old, doesn't it? I'm poor. I'm just, I'm bored of watching that stuff. Retrieving Jim's tee shot there out yeah. of the woods I for just, him, you know? It's great sportsmanship that you Absolutely. do that. Absolutely. We're team players here, you yeah. know? Friendly to our competition and our host. Ah, <laughs> oh, you. Carry, 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 no, that's carry, short. Carry, 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 that's short. Carry. Oh. short. Oh. We're in trouble. That's awful. We're in big trouble. Up, but it's on the fringe there to the left. Is it going to come back? It's drawing nice. Oh, that's it. That's good. Unless there's a secret drop off we don't know about. Shot three. We're in the bunker and uh, they're up by the green, so we got to get this tight. We got to get up and down again. Sandy time. They're up by the hole. Sandy time. Oh, this is a nice. Oh, man. That was beautiful. Got to give credit where it's due. That was awesome. Don't mind me. I'm just pulling a cooch here. That's actually good. There's nothing left to do but make it now. Or do that. Or do that. <laughs> <laughs> Got to hit it, champ. Got to hit, hit it. it. Hit it all. Nope, that's oh, short. Yeah, it's, a, it's an uphill putt. That's short. We live to fight another day. We're really good, aren't we? Yeah, honestly. I, I think, you know what I think it is? I think it's all the trash talk they've been giving us for a whole day. It's just fine. Yeah, it's, it's catching up. All right, we're here at number four. We're scrambling, Jim and I. We're still all square. Okay, there. Awesome. Oh, it's on the green. This guy. Where did that come from? It's I on video. Know. It's on video. I thought that it's was on video. Left. How did it go right? Pressure is on. Oh, and the pressure is off. Oh my God. What? Well, well we, uh, you guys want to stop now then? Or? Concession. Concession. Interesting. Concession? Should we concede? Um, we're in big trouble. That's a pretty good shot. That is a very good shot. Oh, Jimmy. Woo! The only thing left there is to do is get it in the hole. In the hole. Jim, I would have taken that all day long, but I love that you got closer. Careful, careful. Get on. Oh. Oh. Hi, Jim. <laughs> That's a birdie. You lose. What a roll. What a roll. Oh. Oh. He makes the putt. Drains it. Stella, breaking hearts. How do you breaking feel? Hearts. How do you feel, man? How do you feel? I feel like a champion right now. <laughs> Boy, that that's that's a. That's that's a well great. Was, that, was that a natural hey, birdie? Was that your shot? That's a natural birdie. Wow. It's good to feel like a champion even though you don't look like a champion. <laughs> or play like one. Oh. Or play like one either. I don't know, you're doing pretty good. That was a, that's a natural shot. birdie. Great Thank shot. you, man. All of a sudden we are in big trouble. I was flying high after that chip shot of Jim's and now our back's against the ropes. There's a lot of pressure on Pat right now. A lot of pressure. This 
sorry. It's okay. Too much luck. Well, I've lost it. <laughs> Do you remember how Gabe was complaining how Wade's out of it? And then I feel like he's about 40 yards or so to the right of my <laughs> shot, though. He, maybe he shouldn't have said that. It wasn't very nice. Oh, talk about throwing a dart. Good shot. Well done. Yeah. You're good. Take that. Come on. Oh, there you go. You're not supposed to talk during my heart shots, only on Wade's <laughs> shots. You tried it. Suck back. Good shot. He's absolutely smashed it. Get in. <laughs> Okay, guys, we concede. Let's take it to seven. Yeah, we made the birdie putt anyways. <laughs> <laughs> so we're at hole number six. We're down one all of a sudden. Up two. two. We're down two? You're down two. Yeah, we had back-to-back -back birdies. Four and five. Not that we're keeping track, but we're keeping track. I'm keeping track. The trophy is slipping out of my grip right yeah, now. It's... I don't play. Leaking right? Yeah, it's fine. I think it's fine though. Yeah, thank you, Gabe. Ooh, hold on, baby. Ooh. Shot two. We're 280 out. Just gonna lay one up. Get, get close. Get in the range. Get down. Here we go. Just a smooth swing. Smooth. That's over where you were. Uh, oh, chunky. Yeah, don't do that. Yeah. Mercy! Show us some mercy, Patrick. He's knocking everything stiff. Come on. Gotta go. Baby needs shoes. No. That thing goes left. I pulled it. Hey, they finally gave us a putt, Jim. In the. Oh, oof. Good. Another birdie. Oh. Three in a row, though. So we're three down, three to play? Good. Dormy? We're in big trouble. Big trouble, Gabe. <laughs> the best we can do is tie. That's what dormy means. Yeah, I gotta so. show some credit where credit is due. I think we can all agree for all of us that fatigue is starting to come back. We've got to win every single hole out, or they'll be lifting the cup at the end of the day. You can fatigue club up. Looking shot. Turn. Turn. Oh, mm. mm, yoinked. Army go. Mm. All right, this is must make situation right now. 
We're off the green. Patrick's got a six footer. We've got to make it or this is over. Come on, baby. Come on. Oh, that was pretty good. It's got a chance. Oh, it's over guys. Good match. We can Congratulations. Nice. <laughs> now it's time to go inside and lift the trophy. Jim, we came up a little bit short, but I had an incredible time. I think a lot of people would enjoy this golf club here at Tiburon. So if they want to book their next trip or maybe book their next event here, how do they do it? They go to TiburonNaples.com. It has all the information of all the services and programs we have here to offer. Uh, we'd love to see you here at Tiburon. We do it best. So we're walking into the clubhouse. We're going to check out and crown the champions of our day here with the CME World Globe. Uh, this is a big deal. Like I said earlier, you know, th this is a this year's purse, five million bucks. Winner takes 1.5, which is the largest purse in uh, women's golf history. Yeah. Big deal, man. This is pretty much like holding the Super Bowl trophy. Absolutely, it is. We're going to be holding it before, I don't know. Lexi We're holding Thompson it before or... they do this yeah. year. We'll be the next people to hold it. Yeah. yeah. No one's actually held it since Lexi Thompson, so think about that. That's like, how cool I is will, that? I'll probably hold it, and then they'll take it and go like, this is disgusting and all greasy. Like, so <laughs> weird guy's hands. Make sure you dry your hands. You don't want to be slipping around. No, right. no, no. Right. So you're actually going to let us hold it? Wow. Yeah. Just give them an applause. That's wow. cool, man. How cool is that? Wow. That thing's crazy. Well won. Well won, guys. Good job. Wow. Uh, I'm pretty astonished. This is pretty cool. That's just amazing. I've never held a, a, a real trophy like, like this. You before. can hold it. I'm a little nervous. Yeah, I mean, usually the trophies I held as a kid were participation trophies. <laughs> <you know? laughs> Wait, oh, okay. I'm wait, sorry. Wait a second. Oh, yeah. Stand underneath oh. this note right there. Yeah. Like a baby. Nice. Yeah, you look yeah. good. Yeah. Oh, good. dude. Why, thank you, dog. <laughs> Anybody would like to? <laughs> thank you, sir. You got it? I got it. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, shit. Ooh. Oh, Jim. <laughs> uh, I was like, let's go! Why can't prank me, man? Let's just. <laughs> Three, two, one. All right, we're taking the shuttle from the Ritz Carlton main property down to the Beach Club, which is a nice little amenity. When you stay at the Ritz Carlton in Naples, you actually get access to both properties. That's so. pretty awesome. We're gonna go ring the bell here at sunset. There's some beautiful sunsets, the best in the world here in Naples, Florida, and we're gonna go check them out. Cheers. What a view. This is what the west coast of Florida is all about. We're here to ring the bell. This is a great honor that happens once a night at sunset, only here at the Ritz-Carlton Naples. It's like ringing in the NASDAQ stock exchange bell. Absolutely. And we're going to get to do it. So the sun's just about to dip in. What an honor. Three, two, yeah. one. Go! Let's do it. Yeah. Well, that's going to wrap things up from Tiburon. We've got exciting properties coming at you in the coming months, including our trip to Qatar, to Dubai, to TPC Danzante Bay in Mexico, and a whole lot more. Keep coming back week after week here on Let's Play Through. Make sure to hit the subscribe button, give us a thumbs up, and put a comment below about where you'd like to see us play next. We'll catch you back here next week on another edition of Let's Play Through.